If an abundance of legs makes you squirm, you can be glad that millipedes are solitary animals. Except when they're not. As is the case with these millipedes in the West African country of Senegal. Each swarm of millipedes contains hundreds of individuals, almost all exactly the same age. They hatch together, and as they grow, they will all molt on the same day. Together, they roam the countryside, a seething mass of red on the bare ground. Only occasionally will a millipede get lost and join a group of a different age. But why exactly are these millipedes swarming anyway? They aren't old enough to mate, and their food, basically dirt, doesn't require hunting in a pack to take down. So why do they seem so eager to crawl all over each other? You see, these millipedes feed on soil. But it's not just any old soil they are after because even millipedes can't sustain themselves on a stomach full of rocks. Instead, these millipedes seek out soil that is covered in a thin layer of algae. And where does one find such soil? On open, sunny ground. Now this kind of a feeding ground would make a solitary millipede a prime target for predators. But because these swarming millipedes migrate and feed in a group, an ant on the hunt would find them to be an overwhelming challenge. As does, for that matter, this innocent ant just trying to pass through with its dinner. But if the threat of a predator is large enough, these millipedes resort to a different strategy. If they feel so much as a single breath from, say, a mammal, instead of rolling up into a coil like most solitary species do, or staying in their usual intimidating swarm formation, they break ranks and scatter. only to re-aggregate minutes later to continue swarming and eating dirt.